Hi people, it's Shadow Boy. Um, uh, please forgive me, I just got out of the shower. Um, my hair's a complete mess, but I'm getting it cut soon anyway. Um, basically, last night I was actually thinking about what vlogs to make. And I came to a decision that I should tell a story. So it's a bit of story time for you all. Um, you could get a little freaked out. <laughs> But this genuinely happened. Now I'm going to speak about my experiences with the fight or the little people as they prefer to be called. Now I used to work at a club um, in the village, the gay village in Manchester and anybody who goes to the village in Manchester will know what I'm on about when I talk about in terms of directions and what happened. But I used to work every Sunday night and it was at a place called Cruise. Um, now Cruise closed normally around 5 in the morning, 6. Um, however, they closed at 4 on Sundays and there were no buses running, it was very hard to get home, you had to walk. And I sometimes used to walk from the city centre to my side where I lived at the time. So, I used to get a taxi, mainly, um, out of the tips that I got. So, anyway, one night, the tips were just horrendous. It was like £1.20, and I was just like, um, pardon me, I was just like, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get a taxi home. Um, but then I suddenly realised that I had £20 in my bank account. So, I knew I had to go to the cash machine to get some cash out, right? So anyway, I walked out of the gay village um, towards the crossroads and I was standing there at the cash machine and this man walked towards me and he was beautiful, absolutely stunning. The weirdest thing is I can't actually remember what his face looked like, I just remember his eyes. And his hair, he had jet black hair, a little like mine, um, and the most beautiful crystal clear blue eyes I have ever seen in my life. This man was stunning. And he walked up to me, and he was Irish, and he said, excuse me. And I was like, yeah. He was like, do you know where I can get a girl around here? I really want a girl. And I was like, hmm like laughing to myself because I was like, well, I'm gay. How am I going to be able to tell you where to get a girl from? And I said, no, nah, I'm really sorry, mate. I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> uh, maybe if you head towards that direction. And I sent him I sent him away where, like basically away from the gay village because he was looking for a girl. And I didn't think anything of it. So I went to the cash machine and it said, um, this machine is out of order. So, I walked back towards the gay village. He walked down a road called Princess Street. Now, once you walk, when you, and I looked at him, I saw the man walking at Princess Street. Now, there is no other way to get to the gay village other than Princess Street. So, I mean, if he was to go around the long way, it'd have to go around near enough half a town in order to get back. So, it would take him really it'll take him like three times as longer to get to where I was going and I saw him walk in that direction and I just shrugged and thought oh, I'll go to another cash machine so anyway <clears throat> I was in the gay village and I was just hungry I was just tired I wanted to get home and I passed this club that's, that was open and who is standing on the crossroads but my little Irish friend. And now at the time, I was just like, whoa, that's weird. Because the guy had defeated physics. It freaks me out. And, and he actually did as well. There is no other way. It's not physically possible to get to where he got in such a little amount of time. Unless he got to the road, hopped on a motorbike, and, and parked it up and, and ran to where I was going. It was just weird. And when, excuse me. And I was like, yeah. As if he'd never seen me before. He went, do you know where I can get a girl around here? And I was like, look, I really 
don't know. But and I was I was freaked. I went, I really don't know. But you're in the gay village, and he just sort of went, ooh, like that, and went, oh. And I was like, yeah. I was like, you should go that way, back the way I sent you. I went, okay, okay. So anyway, I headed towards another cash machine, which was where I was already heading towards. Just saw him on a crossroads again. So I saw him walk the opposite way, which, same thing again, the only way you can get to where I was going was if you literally went round town, like went halfway around town. And it was weird the first time. So anyway, I was stood there at this cash machine. Once again, it said, out of order. And I was like, what is going on? There is something not right tonight. There was something in the air. It didn't feel right. And all of a sudden, I heard, excuse me, like that. And I had literally, even speaking about it now, I'm going over all cold because it was terrifying. And I turned around and I said to him, no, like that. And we just stopped and we were staring at each other. And he went, do you know where I can get a girl around here? Could you please tell me where I can get a girl? I want a girl. And I was freaked. I was so petrified. I just thought, this is weird. And I looked at him and I just thought, you're not human. And it went through my head and I just thought, Christ, you're actually not human. And he looked at me and dead in the eye. And he went, isn't it a weird city? Isn't this town a weird town? And I was like, look, I don't know who you are, but you p please leave me alone because you're frightening me. I was speaking to him as if he was a spirit because I, I it, he, the guy defeated physics like three times. Um, it was so strange. It was so bizarre. And he was, he didn't look human. Um, he was beautiful, but too beautiful to be human, even though I can't remember what he looked like. It was so weird. So this guy had defeated physics a couple of times, and I just went, look, go, like that. So he set off the other way, um, and the complete opposite way from me. And so I came to the decision Right, fuck this, I'm going to walk home. As freaked out as I was, I was like, I'm walking home. So anyway, I thought on the way, I'll pass McDonald's, I'll just get some food with my card, because I'm just, I'm too fucking hungry. And yeah. And uh, we, well, I got to McDonald's. Bear in mind, the guy had walked the other way. And as I looked through, he was in there, and he looked me dead in the eye. I went, ah, oh, there you are, like that, running towards me. I shot. I completely, I, I pegged it. I've never ran so fast. I was crying. I was literally crying because the fact this guy had defeated physics. It completely just, it was weird. There was something in the air. He was not human. <clears throat> He was not human at all. Um, this is going to sound crazy. I don't care. This is what happened. So I was running. I was running and running and running down this road. And I just went boom like that. And I fell back on the floor. And I just thought, oh, don't. Don't. Please tell me I haven't bumped into somebody. And I just heard a voice saying, excuse me. And as I got up, it was a different person. And he went, do you know where I could find something to eat around here, I'm starving, I just thought, oh my god, oh my god, you, you're normal, you're human, <laughs> like, <clears throat> I was terrified, and he was just a student, and he ended up sort of walking me halfway home, because he sort of lived near, um, so yeah, and a couple of weeks after that had occurred, I was walking home, and I passed a crossroads, and I was just standing in this crossroads, a man like that, just staring at me. And it was the weirdest thing I have ever come across in my life. The whole experience was weird, but it kept happening, the man in the crossroads. And it was the same man, and it was terrifying. I didn't speak to him. 
I just walked past him and I didn't say a word. And this is what people get confused. This is what people don't often understand with fairies or little people is they don't only live in woods and, and nature. They adapt their environment around us just like we have. So you can get somebody that may look like a businessman and somebody who may carry a suitcase, but it couldn't. Sometimes necessarily isn't and actually necessarily isn't human. They're just trying to fit into the world around us. Um, basically, fairies have a history of kidnapping people. And I believe this man was trying to find a woman. Um, not for sexual favours. So... I might sound crazy, but it happened to me, it did. And after that, I was carrying iron keys around me with for a good while because I was just petrified. So it's just a little story to tell you. Um, and it's pretty weird, but I thought I'd share it with you. So that is my experience of the little people. And I do work with them as well. So it, one of them probably just came through and saw me, but... To work with them is very, very strange. They are very strange beings because they're not human and they don't think like humans. They don't act like we do. They are completely separate beings from a completely separate world. You know, they're not all fluffy bunny. Not all of them are fluffy bunny and, and, and nice. And, you know, some of them are. Some fairies are. But not all fairies are like Tinkerbell or anything like that. In fact, I've hardly ever seen a fairy that looks like Tinkerbell. Mind you, even Tinkerbell was a bit of a bitch in Peter Pan. Well, I hope you may get something from that story. Over and out.